Hello, I'm Meng, and I'm here to talk to you about the new Angle 2 Sketch plugin that we've just released. Before we start, I just want to make sure that you downloaded the file that was included as part of the package. So you go to Finder, and usually you'll find the Angle library as well as the Angle.Sketch plugin. To install the Sketch plugin, just double click on it. And then in your preferences for Sketch, you'll find the Plugins tab where you'll see that angle was installed. And if you want to play with the library as well, uh, you can go to the libraries tab and make sure to add library from the library file that is in the finder. So with this, I want to show you how to start from scratch. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to create an artboard. Usually with this artboard, you want to place your, you know, your app screen. I'm just going to include one of the screens that are provided as part of the Angle library. So I'm going to go to screen and I'm going to select iPhone 10. So I'm going to place this and voila, this is my screen and I, I want to apply it to my little mock-up here on the left. Let's say I want to apply to a shape like a rectangle for example and I'm going to click transform, do a little bit of perspective. And so with this selected, I can just do command backward slash to apply my mockup. What is cool with this is that I didn't need to do anything at all. I didn't need to include this artboard. It was automatically detected that I had a single artboard with my screen and I'm going to apply it to this shape. Now that was just a basic feature that we wanted for angle. But we really didn't stop there. We really wanted to take it to the next level so that it works with Sketch Library. So I'm going to put this away a little bit and I'm going to insert a symbol this time using one of the mockups provided. So let's say we're going to use the number 9 and the clay white. And I'm going to drop it here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of scaling let's say to 50%. And now I can do the same, command backward slash. And voila, it applied perfectly the mockup that I wanted. But then again, what happens if we have multiple mockups or multiple artboards? So let's try that. First of all, we're gonna use one of the compositions included from the library. And we're gonna use a triple mockups one so the number four, and I'm gonna drag and drop right here. In order to prepare for this, we need multiple artboards of our screens. So we're gonna create an artboard for the MacBook Pro. I'm going to Responsive Web and let's say Desktop HD, as well as the Apple Watch. All right, so we're gonna insert a sample screen starting with the watch and then the desktop and here we're gonna go back to our mock-up and we're gonna try to apply this command backward slash and this time we have our little window that allows us to select multiple options, such as the destination, the pixel density, as well as the quality of the image if you wish to make your document smaller. So for example, for the MacBook Pro screen, I'm going to select Desktop HD. For the iPhone 10, iPhone 10 of course, and for the Apple Watch, Apple Watch. Apply, and voila. But what's really cool about the Angle library is that I can really change and customize my mockups the way I wish. So for example, I can switch between the Apple Watch materials down to the frames, the colors and the bands, really anything that I fancy that really fits the, the design that I wish to apply this to. Let's customize the iPhone 10 as well. If it's a clay, I can even change the color of the clay if I wish to. 
or I can just switch it to a real mode. I'm going to do the same for the MacBook Pro. And voila. This sketch plugin is entirely free and you can download it on designcode.io slash angle along with 50 free mockups that you can play with. Thanks very much. Hope you'll enjoy it.